Hi, I think the uh, concept position is very important, maybe even more important than the higher ones, because it's so engaged with the, uh, with the community. Right now, before the council, are five bills uh, proposing to criminalize the homeless, um, subjecting them to uh, up to a thousand dollar fine and thirty days in jail, basically for not being able to afford housing in a on an island where the median uh, single family house is now seven hundred thousand dollars. What is your position, not only on the criminalization of house uh, homelessness, but on the affordability issue? Let's start with Councilmember Thank you. Well, actually, uh, you already know my position. I have supported all of those measures, but let me tell you why. You know, for a lot of the businesses that I represent in the downtown Chinatown area, homeless individuals means that their uh, sidewalks and streets are always the bathrooms and the bedrooms of all of these individuals. Every morning, the lay shop proprietors have to come in, clean up whatever mess may have been left behind. They are among the ones who ask us to introduce legislation that would allow, I mean, that would follow upon the mayor's uh, introduction of Bills 42 and 43, which would really try and move people out of Waikiki. At the same time, I totally agree that we need more services and we need additional housing for people who are homeless and we have worked very closely with our legislative colleagues. This year in the City Council budget, we have added an additional $3 million to expand upon housing for homeless individuals who have chronic mental illness or substance abuse problems. We're also- Thank you, Council Member. Thank you. Okay. Mr. Miller. Thank you. Um, I completely disagree. I believe that those bills won't even pass the constitutionality test. So, I mean, Alex, the neighborhood board guy, he got sworn in to uphold the Constitution of the United States and the state of Hawaii. And here is the city council, they're gonna pass bills that are not gonna pass constitutionality, so you're gonna waste a bunch of money fighting it out in court, and right there, you have opportunity costs. And opportunity cost means when you spend a dollar here, that's a dollar you don't have to spend somewhere else. So, I think you'd be better off uh, spending that money and, and dealing with the services right off the bat because when you're going to criminalize homelessness It's going to cost you a lot more to deal with it through the criminal justice system than it is to actually deal with the problem And like I said in my opening comments the reason why it's a crisis now is because they ignored it for so long Okay um, what was the rest of it? <laughs> is that it? That good? <laughs> Thank you Thank you, Mr. Miller. Ms. Tokasaka? For the homeless people, I, I think, um, you know, they're, I don't believe in criminalizing the homeless. I think they're already destitute and um, they're disenfranchised, so I think it's wrong. Um, it's going to just create more burdens on our judicial system. Um, I believe in Housing First Initiative and also maybe the Flight Home Initiative where we um, give them the opportunity to go back home where there's support services. I also think that we should, um, we, could, we should go and have the city and the state come together and then perhaps maybe go to um, uh, apply for federal funding. I think um, we should also, we should also um, keep the things that are already in place for them um, active. And I think we should also um, make sure that, you know, I, I, I don't think that we should just put them in handcuffs and take them to jail. I think we should just help them more and keep all this um, um, health services and everything else come into play as well. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Tokosato. Mr. Iona, your response to the same question? Well, homelessness is such a big issue. I don't think we can answer it in one minute, but I'm going to try. First of all, I'm surprised that the council member says she cares about the homeless, because if you go to the May hearing on Olelo at the city council, you'll find that she introduced a measure that would essentially kick out 300 people from the public housing, the city's public housing projects. I won't get into detail, but I can explain to you later because we only have a minute. Um, what I really want to talk about is this homeless situation. You know, the mayor introduced the Housing First program. The city council appropriated $47 million for the homeless to take 400 people, which is really about 10% of the homeless population, and put them into permanent housing because they believe you put them in housing first and then you work with them. That comes out, folks, to $112,000 per unit. So we're going to take 
400 of our chronically homeless, put them into a, a unit, a $112,000 unit, and then what? I'm very concerned about the then what uh, process. I've served as executive director of the Office of Community Services, worked with many of the homeless uh, nonprofit organizations. I think we should have the nonprofit organizations work with them and put them on performance-based measures to help the homeless. Thank you. Thank you very See, much. I couldn't do it in one minute. Follow up, please, someone. Next question from our community. 